Hello everyone. Welcome to Skill Board Review on AWS. We all know that uh, AWS is one of the biggest and best cloud platform service uh, currently. And AWS has many benefits uh, in it because uh, it offers different kinds of services for the for the for its users. And it is actually uh, provided at low cost, which do not have any upfront cost actually. And Amazon Web Services is easy to use and the user should not worry about the servers or security and the databases we all know uh, aws is one of the best secured cloud platform and uh, web service is easy to use and the user actually uh, has several advantages using aws and although uh, even it is the famous cloud platform service uh, we uh, we have some of the limitations in it so before getting started with the advantages and uh, limitations of uh, AWS uh, in this video we'll be discussing about EC2 uh, and another one that is Elastic Beanstalk that is EC2 is uh, something uh, called as IaaS that is infrastructure as a service so uh, you have to build your own infrastructure when you are using EC2 but in the case of uh, Elastic Beanstalk it is uh, it is a, a tool which comes under uh, platform as a service that is PAAS so platform as a service means you just have to worry only about the code and uh, development of your code that's it or and the data of, of your code that's it remaining services and uh, uh, remaining servers everything will be taken care by PAAS itself that is um, Elastic Beanstalk so uh, let's talk about EC2 and Elastic Beanstalk and let me take you a small demo of uh, AWS. So if you can see it is asking me to complete my AWS registration that's because I have I haven't actually added my credit card so if you can add your credit card it will be done and you can actually use it then coming down uh, these are the different kinds of advantages where you can get using AWS it is using game tech travel and hospitality and hospitality and medium and entertainment telecom these are all the manufacturing even in the advertising things and these are all the products where you can get uh, aws advantages because it, it is used in blockchain analytics application integration business applications many kind of business applications are, are there and it is used in internet of things iot as well and robotics so it's actually uh M a mixture of all kinds of technologies because everyone are using AWS so if you can see this is for manufacturing and financial services it is used in fitness real estate healthcare gaming media and en entertainment so there are many features like this so and these are all the partners of uh, partners and customers of AWS so globally it is actually uh, available that's the major reason because it's actually uh, became so famous and if you can see there are some places where it is coming soon so in the future we can expect it to be more dominant and so let's start uh, looking for our EC2 instance so because we'll be discussing about EC2 and Elastic Beanstalk in this video so as I already said EC2 is, a, is an infrastructure as service product and is Amazon's flagship offering before we are able to deploy an application on EC2, we have to develop server infrastructure that will suit our application because uh, it is an infrastructure based tool. So it won't give you all the servers and services by itself. They, you have to develop your server. But how to do that? Like how, how to develop your own server? Just simply will need to manually configure and maintain virtualized servers that run our application. We also add database instances, choose and set up an OS and set up a load balancer to spread the load across multiple application servers. On top of that, we must select a CPU and amount of RAM and storage as well by ourselves, which satisfies our application's need and our, our uh, project's need. We'll also install backup servers and hook them up to the main servers as well. So all these things should be done by us manually. That's only because it is an IaaS. If it is an infrastructure as a service, then you have to do all these things manually. It won't give you. 
but if it is a platform as a service then automatically it will give you uh, what and all i have listed till now so is it to provides us only with the building blocks our task is to select the best blocks for our application and actively manage them not only set them up and at many web development companies a dedicated devops engineer is responsible for this ec2 instances which i which i have listed now so a separate devops engineer will be there to look after all these servers and uh, things storage uh, etc will be look uh, taken care by a devops engineer so uh, by by the looks of it it looks like it's not an easy job to work with ec2 because you have to set up everything completely from your and but look at the applications here netflix uses ec2 and oxwagon uses ec2 that's because if the company is really big uh, they, uh, it doesn't matter for them to uh, uh, for them uh, to create or to employ someone from outside or some people as a devops engineers and make them work for their company because, uh, because that's not an issue for them and they their main motto is is for the quality of their project so in that case ec2 is the best choice you can go with so if you want to see the product features of ec2 these are the functionalities and features of ec2 and you can actually pause and resume or instances gpu compute instances gpu graphics instances and many more things actually uh, operating systems coming to the operating systems these are all the different operating systems which is used and softwares these are the different softwares and intended use is every, everywhere actually everywhere so and if you want to uh, see more resources and tools of the ec2 here are some of the tools and articles and tutorials are also available here so you can go through it and you can learn more about how ec2 works and how to uh, get started with the ec2 coming to the paas so as i already said amazon has both both kinds of cloud platforms here both kinds of tools are available in amazon ec2 will be uh, acting as an iaas uh, tool and another thing elastic beanstalk will be acting as an so you can see this is elastic beanstalk so elastic beanstalk will be acting as an paas that is uh, platform as a service so in short aws uh, offers elastic beanstalk to simplify application deployment actually because uh, as i already said uh, only the higher companies or the bigger companies or the companies which are willing to pay anything or at any cost they want just the quality only those companies can afford for ec2 and they they have to manage everything in the ec2 so in in that scenario only it is useful but for all other people other than the uh, specified category all other people have to look after for any other paas like heroku or some something and they have to go out of aws so in that case uh, they have developed one more thing that is called as uh, aws elastic beanstalk so these are all the uh, basic advantages here it is fast and simple to begin and it is developer productive productivity is high and it is impossible to outgrow and completely resource controllable and if you can see these are the featured customers here in the thing and if you want to just get started with aws this is a simple three steps which are uh, been here and uh, if you want to deploy your application on aws elastic beanstalk by running commands in a command line interface by using the management console you can do that easily and after deployment elastic beanstalk manages infrastructure without our control itself so we generally don't need to set up capacity provisioning or load balancing or scaling or looking after uh, our storage or anything although we are still able to get access to the infrastructure if necessary we can get the access but there is no need to set up by ourselves that's the major point here and we can save multiple configuration options for our application elastic beanstalk uses ec2 instances to host your application so migrating from aws beanstalk to ec2 is easy and that's the great advantage here so when you have an option of switching between paas and ias then that's the best thing which you ever get so uh, that's the major biggest biggest advantage of it, uh, aws if you are using an aws and coming to the like we can actually compare aws with heroku 
but uh, there is no need of comparison because Heroku offers you only PAAS but AWS offers you both the kinds of uh, things that is PAAS and A uh, IAS as well so now let's talk about the overall like not uh, not especially EC2 or not especially Elastic Beanstalk let's talk about overall advantages and disadvantages of normal AWS that is Amazon Web Services so the major the major and biggest advantage is it is easy to use and it is clearly expressed and even uh, an FO byte can use it that means uh, any kind of uh, people who are new to industry can use it and there won't be any problem for a new applicant as well as for an existing applic applicant and this is possible due to the AWS management console because it is very well documented web services so uh, we, with the help of this count and you can, even if you can see the documentation the documentation is really very good uh, in the case of AWS because uh, they are using the high quality documentation and anybody who wants to learn anything can learn from here and coming to the next advantage that is no capacity limits actually uh, it doesn't have any capacity limits organizations launch different projects and guess what capacity they'll they'll need will be really huge AWS helps them by providing this capacity at a minimum cost though this benefit their workload is decreased and they can focus on and build different ideas as well so that's the reason why uh, many customers use AWS and the customers predict the capacity and they pay higher prices than that but AWS provides them capacity at lower cost itself so the moment you feel like you should increase your capacity you can do it freely so moreover if you realize that you are not in a need of so much storage you can get back to the previous storage and you have to pay for what you use only so th there is a flexibility of, of uh, how much you use in it and it provides speed and agility as well in the older world if you if you talk to an engineer or an enterpriser or a company about how long will it take to hire a server the answer will be uh, one week or two weeks but after coming after the evolution of AWS it provides us within a minute so within some minutes so all you have to do is select your requirement and you can proceed without talking to anyone as it is easy and very flexible with this you can quickly deploy your application AWS provides us with tools which helps us to reduce the time we spend on a task such as auto scaling and AWS tools and elastic load balancing and you can select them and the basis of your demand only so these applications can be accessed anytime you need them so this remains the biggest advantages of AWS and obviously it is very secure and that it's very reliable uh, if we talk about advantages of AWS there are many 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 to talk because it has many features and it has many advantages as well obviously if it is allowing uh, many kinds of uh, free uh, many kinds of free tire accounts and many kinds of services and some of the paid accounts obviously there will be many uh, many advantages we have to talk about so i'm just picking the best are the topmost advantages here and coming to the security amazon allows you to innovate and scale while keeping a secure environment and all you have to pay, pay is only for the services which you use only and aws provides an end to end approach which secures and hardens your infrastructure and aws provide you with the security you need at a lower cost than in an on premises environment aws provides security and also helps to protect protect the privacy as it is stored in aws data centers itself so aws infrastructure is designed to keep your data safe no matter what size of your data is even if it is very small also it will be safe and even if it is very huge also it will be safe at any cost so it just scales with your aws cloud usage aws manages the highest standard of security and this is the reason why many users rely on aws now it's time to talk about the some of the limitations of aws so the best the uh, main limitation here comes is uh, technical support fee actually because aws charges you for immediate support and you can opt for any packages among three which is a developer or business or enterprise but the pricing list is really uh, some uh, high uh, like kind of high for small 
like small uh, enterprises or small uh, developers so even it has separate aws pricing calculator for you so i'll just tell you uh, it is something like uh, about uh, uh, about um 29 dollar per month for developer and around 100 dollars for uh, business and it will be around 15000 dollars for enterprise obviously it will depend on uh, what you choose so as i said it, it it is following pay as you go so how much ever you use it will you it will cost you that itself and it has some com, uh, general cloud computing issues uh, some of the cloud computing issues not the major ones but some of the cloud computing issues so aws does have general uh, issues when you move to a cloud such as downtime or limited control and backup protection uh, there is an issue with it however these flaws can be overcome after some time this makes them the temporary issue only so this was uh, i think uh, this was all the disadvantages oh yeah some of the security limitations are also there not an overall aws is really secure but as security is one of the main features so aws limitations are there in the security some of its features which cannot be changed at all are ec2 as i already said ec2 has some of the uh, types in it like ec2 classic and ec2 vpc so ec2 classic in the case of ec2 classic maximum of 500 per instance and each security group can have a maximum of 100 permissions only so that is the limitation here and for ec2 vpc up to 100 security groups per vpc so th this is this is where uh, aws uh, have some issues with it and uh, i think yeah uh, apart from that aws is really cool and very uh, very important and very useful uh, uh, services and nowadays even students who are just uh, pa passing out or graduating are uh, wa are actually requested to learn aws from the companies because they wanted them to know uh, everything about aws so that's how important it became and in the conclusion state i want to conclude that uh, advantages are really high in the aws so which helps us understand aws uh, is really important and there are very few drawbacks and even, even these drawbacks are temporary so i think uh, the drawbacks are really temporary and only problem is with the fee if you are uh, not okay with the fee then you can switch your switch to any other things but uh, there is a free tier account as well if you want to use but here the only thing is if even if you are using your free tier account if you use some of the paid versions or paid tools then obviously you have to pay so that's where a small problem is there so before starting to use your free version you have to be aware of what and all the tools are free and what and all the tools are for uh, payment so that's the only thing you have to keep in your mind while starting work with aws so that's it from us thank you